the English Simmer here and welcome back to part 7 of my high school years let's play and I just have a feeling that this is going to be a very wholesome, very fun, cute little family day because that's what I have planned. I basically, as you lot know, have put so much personality into these sims and whilst high school has been going pretty well for the teenagers, I do feel like they have had a really, really big focus which makes sense because it's high school years but I kind of wanted to bring the family back together in this part. I feel like Sunday is their family day and that's what we got planned. I'm very much looking forward to it. The Michaels are so flipping wholesome. So of course starting off strong little Archie has actually managed to swindle his mum into going fishing with him. He's like mum I really need these badges for scouts like I really really want to become I don't even know what the top like scout is but he's a scout number two Next he gets to be a unicorn scout, which no offense, but that sounds a lot cooler than being a griffon scout, even though griffons are also very, very cool. He is a trying to fish to get his outdoorsy badge. Also, he's scared of the dog. The flipping little so-and-so that is the monster under the bed has made him afraid of the dark. In the vast nothingness of darkness, the night holds mystery, intrigue, and fear. Also, he's having bad dreams about Vlad, which no one ever wants those bad dreams about Vlad. Lately, this man named Vladulus keeps calling. Oh. Next, he's going to be self-conscious about his neck because of Vlad calling. But it is 10 a.m. So we're going to get the rest of the family over here so you two can stop fishing. Where the heck? I need to flip this lot around, but we are gonna go here together. Ooh, actually, Archie, just before you do go there, can you also look for frogs? Considering that also helps out with like his outdoorsy badge, the fact that he's scared. Dude, it's not even dark anymore. It is 10 a.m. But as you all know, Sunday is their fun day, which equals the bowling day in the flipping Michael household, doesn't it? Naomi and Peahead are obsessed with bowling. They try and go every week. Sometimes if the kids feel up to it, they bring them along. Archie obviously is always up for it. However, today Jules very much isn't. Jules is feeling very sad. They got a little bit friend zoned by Sydney in the last part. So that's, that's hitting hard and they've decided just leave me at home. I want to wallow in my self pity. So that's what we're gonna do. We are instead gonna bring Parker over here. We're also gonna bring Celeste over here. And then the kids actually get to invite one friend with them to bowling. And today Archie has actually decided that Olive is gonna be the friend of his choice. And then Celeste, obviously, if we go into friendships, we are gonna invite Savannah. I already out and about are we already on her phone just waiting for that text I see it so we are gonna add this in to our group Savannah you're now part of the Parker fam for the day welcome to family Sunday fun day and little Archie is making some phone calls he's like Olive I'll have my manager ring your manager Olive legend icon the moment my sad bitch baby of the sims 4 I don't I don't even know how many people can actually flip and bowl, but we are gonna engage midnight bowling. Cause they do that at like 12 p.m. over here. It's not even a night thing. They're just like, yeah, every day is a midnight bowling. Maybe before we bowl, we actually go order some food from like a bar. Let's order food. We will go for, we're not gonna go for a bowl of olives. That feels a little bit harsh when you're <laughs> when your friend's child is also called Olive. So we'll go for some French fries so that the whole family can actually have some. We're actually gonna, can we go here together? Oh, I think everyone's kind of in their way in, which is good. You are actually gonna come and play an arcade game with Archie. Olive and where's Savannah? You three can do that. Parker's gonna come watch some TV up here. Mother is ordering some French fries because Mumsy knows best. Stop it. 
Nancy, oh, that's so embarrassing for you, Malcolm. I'm not gonna lie. Coming here with your mother doing some bowling, to be fair, that's actually pretty dope that he also has the like, same tradition with his parents as we do with ours. Maybe I unfairly judged the boy. What is Olive doing? My sad beige child. She's just sat here doing her homework. What is happening? Oh my word, who knew that it was so freaking difficult to get Sims to all go to one place? Well, it turns out we can only bowl with four Sims anyway. So we're just gonna focus on our family. I cannot even be bothered to start this group again. Oh my word. I wasted literally about 10 minutes of this trying to get these flipping sims to bowl. Scout meeting starts. We've not even had our bowling day yet. Absolutely not. Also, I would just like to apologize for how like a little bit laggy my game is being. I think it's because there's like so many people like on the lot and this lot is obviously like got quite a bit of animations. Oh, Oh, Archie! Bowling skill acquired. Oh, that's okay, buddy. You're learning. You're only little. Ooh, little Celeste is next. Let's see how Celeste does. Oh, damn! Got a little curveball under there. That is me when I'm playing Nintendo Switch Sports. I am actually a genius when it comes to bowling. Dad! No, stop it, Parker. You do not have the flipping glove and everything. Look at Naomi's little face. She's like, that's my man. His little professional glove on. I actually want to get better screenshots, so I'm gonna disable moonlight bowling. Oh, it's still feckin' dark in here with moonlight bowling on or not, to be fair. Hey, mum doesn't have a glove, but she did get a strike. <gasps> I couldn't tell if Parker got a strike or not. We also got our french fries here. This is so realistic to actual real life bowling. They literally just get ignored. I love bowling. Parker is in his element and because he's doing something he prefers, increased his fun gain. Naomi also out here loving bowling. Archie is fuming. Human. Archie is like, why is my whole family good at bowling and I'm so bad? I literally die a little bit inside because it's so freaking cute when Celeste gets the with my people. I think it's the cutest little thing. Yeah, I was literally just saying, I think the parents need to start making some friends like outside of their family. Like they don't really have anyone to talk to minus their kids, which is not good. Also, the fact that Archie is missing his scouts. You know what? As much as they love family time, his parents are like, no, he should go to scouts. Like, it's like, what? His second day, he's still meeting new people and scouts is definitely gonna help with that. Also, it teaches him so many different life skills that I think are personally great. So yeah, we're gonna let Archie go. So it's just these three left. Um, I feel like we've literally lost the bowling after uh, one round, which is a little annoying, but but uh, let's actually grab a serving of some french fries. Let's just have a little chat. Let's catch up with Celeste, see how things have been going. Yeah, you know what, Parker? You can actually go and talk to Bjorn. Go in there, see how he's doing. Maybe this will be your first first adult friend outside of your, your family, <laughs> outside of your wife. Let's give a little friendly introduction. Okay, you just sat in the table. Now you decide to bowl Celeste? Okay, cool. That's fine. I mean, you do you. Whatever you want to do. Ayo, you got it in the gutter. G -g 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 gutter bowl. Is Savannah still here? No, it seems like Savannah has actually gone home, which is also fine. Like, I feel like we played some arcade games. It was fun. Ooh, you two flirting with each other? I guess they're like, well, Celeste is over there. So I guess we can like have a little conversation. Talk about relationship spheres. We can actually do it. I don't know if we, Celeste bowled a game of 48. You go, Celeste. Why don't you go play an arcade game whilst you're, oh, I don't feel like we should be doing this whilst Bjorn is literally sat next to us. Oh, it looks like we're having a conversation with Bjorn. I would like to say we definitely are not having a romantic conversation about our flipping marriage. 
with him. Growing stronger together. It takes time, but discussing issues and problems before they become too big has helped Parker strengthen his relationship. Oh my word. Does that mean you're no longer scared of her cheating? Thank God, because like I said, whenever I've played Naomi, she's literally been painting, she's been like doing some meditation, or she's just been like sneaking into her kid's room whilst they're in school and playing guitar and singing in the shower and stuff like that. So I'm glad that you're no longer feeling it. Also, can we just talk about how cool our parents are? I mean, seriously, they're like the chillest parents ever. I don't think these lot like know how lucky they are to have them. We're actually gonna have a, can we not invite to, yeah, invite to bowl. I kind of want to do a three frame bowl just with him and Naomi. Like they're gonna be like, right, our marriage is safe. We're fine. We're stronger than ever. But I'm still gonna fucking kick your ass. Damn, she got all dressed up. Oh my God, such a professional. The ball is quite literally glowing. Look at that hip thrust. Naomi's little face in the background. <gasps> Whoa, it was quite literally on fire. <gasps> that was so impressive, Parker. Holy shit. No wonder Naomi is looking at you like that. Bowling is broken. <laughs> Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It's so annoying. I feel like they just get distracted. Simulation lag is not good. Damn, we got us. We got a spin, we got a little twirl, also on freaking fire, mama. It's the gloves for me. The fact that these two take it so seriously that they have their own bowling gloves and shoes. Are we able to pick our own bowling ball? I swear you can. All right, you know what? This was cute and all, but it is definitely taking far too long. So we're gonna head back home. I feel like we've, we've left Jules enough to wallow in their feelings long enough. We need to really go home, make some dinner, make sure the kiddos have actually done their homework, which Archie definitely has. I think Celeste is the only one who hasn't done her homework just yet. Oh no, Jules is feeling angry. That's it. Jules has had enough of that nagging feeling, telling them to do this or do that. Either they get it their way or nothing at all. All. I heard you became friends with Molly. Did I? Oh, I didn't even realize. That must have been a social buddy thing. But Celeste is over in her room doing her homework and she kind of feels bad that like Jules wasn't there for like family day and definitely knows that Jules is feeling a little like angered by everything right now. I just feel like the, the world is piling on them a little bit too much. As an empath. <laughs> Celeste is gonna actually take Jules uh, to Thrifty and like be like, look, like the money that I've saved up for my tips, I will buy you an outfit. Whatever outfit is like trending right now, whatever you want, like it's on me. We love supportive siblings in this household. Oh my word, this actually wasn't working in my early, early access. This was one of the feedbacks that I had. But it says, grab your chin and the mic and get all poetical. To the quiet applause of an adoring crowd, the thrifty poetry evening begins. This is exciting. Celeste is gonna go sit over here. Because Naomi and Parker have actually made up with one another. They were quite happy for the teens to like take Archie with them and be like, yeah, that's fine. You can uh, you can all go out together. Just make sure you look after your little brother. Of course, as soon as they arrive, the teenagers are like, no, we're gonna focus on our passions and Jules is gonna go browse the racks while Celeste is hopefully gonna do some poetry reading if anybody else would like to turn up. Uh, you are not gonna do some cheer things. Okay, so Rocca is high right now. Uh, Molly, this is mine. No way, I don't wanna become best friends with you. Oh no, we got a sentiment. I'm just best friends with Sydney and I don't wanna, 
I don't know how we're gonna face Sydney on Monday and I don't think Jules really wants to get rid of him just yet but we'll we'll have to wait and see so let's go style uh rocker mm, I mean we have this which is honestly kind of cute like the black on black although we still don't have accessories all right calm down Miranda sings and then wait we can change the color of accessories uh I want to go for the black and green add a little bit of that detail that jewels detail into there and then we have like the black ones of these but do we have the werewolf boots available to us no I'm gonna do it boom style rocker 225 simoleons we are gonna upsell this so bad Jules has been getting so many sales on their trendy shop right now that they're like, I am definitely gonna get more than like 500 simoleons for this. We're gonna try and bump up the prices a bit. We're gonna try and go for 600 even, or maybe 666 because it's like a rocker. I'm gonna try for 666 simoleons. <laughs> Taking their anger out through clothes and trendy. This is what I like to see. Stop asking to be my best friend, Molly. You're just gonna keep on getting hurt. No, wait, don't list it yet. Don't list it yet. Uh, we are gonna wear it in school tomorrow. Damn, we found a little, why is nobody here? Um, oh, what? We now can't do it? I really wanted to join in on poetry night. Are you freaking kidding me? It lasted one second. I knew it was too good to be true. Should we try and sing a song? Oh my God, like no one's here right now. Oh, this is so embarrassing though. The only options available to us, I said no one's here right now. And then a five-star celebrity, Judith Ward shows up. <gasps> this is like, Celeste's first moment of like performing to anyone. Oh. Are you okay, Archie? Are you all good? You were just like fell off and you definitely hit your head. I hate singing. Celeste can't stand this. When will this torment end? Sims who are doing something they just like are susceptible to fun reduction. But we got four simoleons from the one and only Molly. Thank you very much, Molly. She's like, I'm in a sad mood because your sibling rejected being my best friend. But also you're still very, very cool, Celeste. So here you can have my money how about you uh oh kevin's here let's go practice some drums sorry kevin i know we're gonna disrupt your movie night but let's go give a pep talk to him obsessed about your favorite band rave about growing up sydney's best friend our best to uh to take revenge on the guy who crushed your hopes and dreams become his best friend's best friend Steal him away from him. You know that Jules plays dirty. We're actually gonna have a little Archibald go and get a Simi. Also, we do have a frog. We did happen to find one. We're actually getting some stuff that we can give as gifts, which is quite cute. Hope you get a good one, Archie. Hope it doesn't eat your money. Ooh, let's open. Ooh, it's uncommon. We got gnome Simi. Let's try for another one. <laughs> Not only is this boy addicted to void critters, he's also addicted to Simi capsules ever since Thrifty got their hands on this little uh, thing. We got all Gabby, one of my favorites, honestly. And then we're also gonna, we're gonna cards, we're gonna buy a new expansion. Oh my God, this kid is just out here spending money. This is what exactly what kids are like. Also helping himself to some food. Oh no, did it get trapped? Can you not get your food out? Ate my money from stuck in the vending machine. He's like, Celeste. Celeste, can you come and get my food out for me? Like my siblings left. Oh no, a vampire. Oh, this is not good. We know that poor little Archie is scared of the dark. Oh stop, Celeste has actually come to get it for him. That's so cute. She's like, okay, it might only be $10. 
But that's ten dollars of my little brother's money that nobody takes away from him. So we're definitely gonna get that. Nice. Hot sage green tea. Okay, you fancy little kiddo. I don't think he can drink it. He was like, I want it just for the air of sophistication. Like, I just want to pretend that I drink hot sage green tea. He's like, Jules, have you ever drank hot sage green tea? It's like the same color as your hair, so I can imagine you can. How about we try and friendly give gift? We'll give a friendly gift. Can we give the sage green tea? Let's go. I got this for you. You know the uh, Archie is the type of kid. I'm fairly sure one of you lot said like he would find pet rocks on the ground and bring it back like for his siblings to like give them each at different times. He's like, I got you this massive present. You're not gonna. Please act excited. Nice, they're laughing at it. That's cute. Maybe he literally was buying it as a present for his siblings. Oh, look who just came in, would ya? Trying to make a conversation with me. <gasps> Archie's getting mean. Archie. <laughs> He's like, is this the person that you've been telling me about who like put up water in your locker and it went wrong, thankfully? Jules is like, yes, this is absolutely them. <laughs> Getting your siblings to fight your battles for you. Archie is actually gonna give a little bit of a rude introduction to Ash. I feel so bad on Ash. We don't even know if she actually did anything wrong. I literally drew assumptions and purely for the drama, I've started to like mix it up. We'll call Ash names. That's such a kid thing to do. <laughs> Just like start calling this random person names and then we'll also mock her outfit a little bit. Archie, this is not you. Don't let Jules drag you to the dark side. Ooh, Jules is like, this is a very awkward encounter. I'm gonna excuse myself and go to the toilet and also go and cry because this is not what I wanted. I didn't want to get my little brother invested in my arguments. Definitely not a good example. Oh, little Archie is so tired. No wonder it's 12 a.m. on a school night. Get back home. In fact, I am gonna end this part here. I'm gonna send all of them to bed. Oh, it feels like I've played three sim days in one. Uh, to be fair, bowling took up the majority of my day, which is very, very unfortunate indeed. But thank you all so much for tuning in. I know this part was a little bit more relaxed. We are gonna be joining the teens once again in school to face the music when it comes to Jules and Sydney. So tune in next time to see how that one goes. I appreciate you all so, so much and I will speak to you all then. Bye now.